Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about Predator CNC Editor software. I'll be showing a high level demonstration of Predator CNC Editor, focusing on file transfer, backplotting, and other editing features. So let's take a look at Predator CNC Editor. Predator CNC Editor supports RS-232 based CNC machines with support for about 99% of the machines out in the market today. CNC Editor does not, however, support Ethernet based CNC machine controllers. For a full list of supported equipment, please feel free to visit our website at predator-software.com. That again is www.predator-software.com. Select CNC Editor Software, scroll down to where you see CNC support and select your machine from there. With Predator CNC Editor, you have the ability to either create a program from scratch or select a program that you've already created with an existing system. You also have the ability to select a program from a list of example files that Predator software ships. This list contains many examples, as you can see. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on the plate example. Go ahead and open that up. And as you can see here, I have various different colors. This is one of our format options that you have the ability to enable or disable. It is called syntax highlighting. This gives you the ability to define specific axis axes with specific colors to identify them easily when they're shown. Simply uncheck and apply, click OK. It goes back to normal, which is just purely black and white. Come back to format again, colors, and check the box that says use syntax highlighting. Apply, OK, and there you have it. We are now able to see all of our notes in green, our G codes in blue, and our tools in a little bit different color, and then again, our Z movements in red. All right, other editing features have the ability to add comments, remove comments, add end of blocks, as you can see, we just added an end of block. We can remove that end of block. We say we want to do the current line or the current line or apply action to entire file. In this case, we'll apply the action to entire file. Now our end of block is gone. Other options are the ability to insert a bolt hole circle as well as the ability to insert sequence numbers, as well as the ability to have the ability to add in a triangle. So once you've either created your program, selected your program for an existing file folder location, or simply just using some of the example files that Predator CNC Editor software offers, now you have the ability to compare them. Simply do this by opening up the master file, click on the compare tab, select your program that you want to compare it to, and then simply find next differences. In this case, we see that there's a G90 and then a G91. The program on my right being my master, the program on my left being the one that I just created. We'll go ahead and click down to select for more, find more differences. Same thing, we have the G91 and the G90. Again, now we have some Y moves again, and now we have some Z moves. We have the ability here is to click on the compare summary. We're then given a compare summary on the line number and the file name and which differences they are. The other thing we have the ability to do is to come in and fix all of those differences. So now on this file, all those differences match this file. And we can prove that out by coming up to the back, to the top of the file and selecting find differences. And in this case, there are no differences. Okay. So once you've compared both of your files, once you've compared and made all of your edits with the CNC editor software, you would then go ahead and open that main file that you were looking at in this case, it is going to be our, I'll go open. And that is gonna be our plate.nc. We now open that and we have the ability to select the backplot feature. The backplot feature is going to show us toolpath and a solid or animation view of the stock, the tool, 
tool holder and its path. As you can see here, we have the program line, the program code over here on your right. We also have uh, the machine values. What is the machine? Is the coolant on? Is the coolant on? Uh, on or off? What is our spindle speed? And so on. Here down here in the control panel, you can see we do have the tool uh, check box for tool crash. That's going to show us any kind of crashes. We have a speed here. We can speed this up. We can slow it down. We also have the ability to either check the holder against for crashes, and we also have the ability to display the holder or get rid of the holder here. Of course, being able to zoom in, zoom out is also important, as well as the ability to change various different views. We can speed this up simply by clicking the radio button here to the fast feature. It will go ahead and it will go from start to end. And the program is now done with no errors. That is exactly what we want to see. If we had an error, the error message would appear here. We could then come up here and click on the CNC editor. It would take us to the exact line of that error. We could then make that change, compare, and rinse and repeat. Okay. So as you can see, Predator Editor software is pretty powerful, even in the backplot feature. So now, after we've ran through our backplot, we now have the ability to send our program to our CNC machine. And in this case, we allow you to do a few different things here. In our templates, we have different CNC machines that you could potentially have identified. You can create your own custom template simply here by coming down and adding a new template or, new or add a new template give that a machine file or MCH, whatever that machine file is. We'll just say here um, that this is a default uh, mill and new template name. And we would click next. And then we come in here to our DNC properties and we would say this program or this machine needs to have XYZ COM port, okay? And in my case, I am going to actually cancel out of this and I'm going to use my default. And here I want to make sure that within my default, I have everything all set up properly. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to come here and I know that I use COM5. So I'm going to verify I'm COM5, my baud rate, parity bits, stop bits, data bits, timeout, software flow control. Um, all of these are standard right out of the box if you need any assistance with that our on-site technical support and um, in-house technical support people can help you with that. You simply click through next on all of this and finish. And then what you would do is you would get the CNC machine ready to receive the program. You then come over to Predator CNC editor, click on the DNC and then click to send to CNC. And in this case, the program is now going out of your computer that's running CNC editor going through an RS-232 cable into your CNC machine. Now, this example is for loading the program directly into the CNC machine's program list. This is not drip feeding, but Predator CNC Editor does have the capability to drip feed. Okay, drip feeding also uh, known as spoon feeding as well. Uh, drip feeding is normally required for CNC machines that have limited memory when their CNC programs exceed that memory, okay? So in general, what you have is a, a really well-rounded product. Predator CNC Editor, again, supports your editing, cap your editing needs. It supports your backplotting needs. And then it also supports your uh, file transfer needs to get those programs that you've edited, uh, to get those programs that you've verified off the PC and into the CNC machine control. Okay. So that's it for today on Predator CNC Editor. I'd like to thank everybody for watching my demonstration of Predator CNC Editor and would like to see if you'd like to see more demonstrations, please visit our YouTube channel. Um, if you have any further questions, again, please visit our website at www.predator-software.com. We have a lot of other products out there. Again, I thank you for your time and hope to see you guys all soon again. Thank you.